Hey guys, now you can follow me on Facebook. Just go to facebook.com slash ultramaximusreviews. Do, 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 do. Oh, hey, look, it's Hugh Jackman. You catfish. You were badass. You suck. Ultramaximus back with another toy review and today we're taking a look at another Marvel Legends series and it's from the X-Men wave. It's Wolverine! And I got this set from a promo pack which I was really excited about. It was missing two out of the, I think it's eight figures total in this set. Um, it was missing Deadpool and Havoc. So I have all the Build-A-Figure parts save for Havoc, so I'm probably going to have to see if I can hunt one down, probably get one off the interweb so I can build the Juggernaut, and uh, of course i got to get a Deadpool, but yeah, this Wolverine looks amazing! I actually have an old school Wolverine still in the box I was going to review, but I figured I'd go ahead and take a look at this guy, so let's go ahead and take a look at the packaging. And here we have Wolverine in the package, and he looks so cool. Um, my claws on this one look like they're a little off. Hopefully they're not warped. Uh, we'll find out when we get out of the package. You know, and uh, uh, these claws, I've seen other reviewers talk about these specifically, Shardimus Prime. Uh, these claws do come out of the hands, yet we have interchangeable clawless hands. And uh, he did take the San Diego Comic-Con claws and put them on this figure because uh, the claws look more metallic. These look a little more pearlescent. Uh, he does come with the Juggernaut head sculpt there. Um, and just looking now, looking at my select Juggernaut versus that Juggernaut head, uh, that Juggernaut head looks smaller. So it'll be interesting to get that Build-A-Figure together and compare it to the select, which is my uh, premier uh, Juggernaut in my X-Men collection. But liking the black and yellow theme, uh, very 90s X-Men uh, look, which pretty much most of this stuff is. We get a really cool picture of Wolverine on the side. Wolverine on the side, if if you want a close-up of that. There it is. He's looking all Logan-ish with the sharp claws. So pretty cool. Um, it has the X logo at the top there. Here is the back of the packaging with a little write-up. We get some, this looks like CG art. That doesn't even look like a picture of the figure. I don't know. And then all the figures you can build a Juggernaut with, except for Deadpool. He doesn't come with any parts. He's just kind of there because, well, the movie came out and they wanted a Deadpool figure to sell. So they're not making any Fox toys. So might as well slam this puppy out here. Um, yeah, so pretty cool. If you want to uh, pause and read this little bio, you're more than welcome to. And yeah, tell me that's just not CG rendered. That's not a toy. That's not what this thing looks like. There's no way. No way. But here are the other figures in the wave looking super cool. The only two I'm missing is Havoc and uh, Deadpool, uh, which is pretty cool. And then there's the Juggernaut that you can build. So yeah, that pretty much does it for the packaging. Let's go ahead and get old Logan out of the box and see what we think. And here we have Wolverine out of package. And I've got to say, I really do like this figure a lot. I've had a lot of fun posing him on the coffee table. This is probably one of my favorite poses with, uh, you know, his boot on Juggernaut's head there. I think that looks really, really cool. You're probably going to hear the parrots in the background. They're kind of noisy today. But, um, yeah, I really like the figure. I do have issues with the claws, and I will talk about that. Um, he does come with interchangeable hands, um, which are they're the same hands except they don't have the claw holes uh, for the actual claws, which is interesting because you can take these claws out. Um, so I don't know, I just that's just kind of strange to me. I don't know if these were meant to come out or not, but they do. All right, so I'm gonna take him off of here and just kind of put him in a different pose so that we can take a look at Juggernaut's head. So this is a Build-A-Figure series, obviously. Um, and the Build-A-Figure is Juggernaut. Here is the head. I just don't know, man. Um, I've got the Marvel Select Juggernaut, and I really do like it. So this thing's got a lot to um, live up to. So once we get all the figures reviewed, we'll put him together and compare him with the Select version. So kind of looking at Wolverine a little closer here with the claws. Um, again, you can take these claws out. 
um, they're just little, they've got little hooks that go in. I don't know how often you want to do that, but it can be done. Um, now, there was a San Diego Comic-Con version that has more silver uh, looking claws than this. It's kind of a, I don't know, a super light gray. Uh, if you want these to look more silver-ish, like the actual claws, um, if I can get it to focus here, uh, or not the claws, but the little joints that the claws come out of, I mean, you can paint them silver, which is probably what I'm going to end up doing. Um, the biggest drawback I have with the claws is that um, they don't, it's hard to get them in a straight pose um, to look nice and straight. Uh, they just, I don't know, and they were really warped and bent when they came out of the box for me. So yeah, that's, that's the biggest drawback because the claws are kind of all over the place. Um, you could probably fix that with a hair dryer. I'm guessing um, I haven't got a chance to do that, but uh, yeah, just kind of, that's kind of annoying. But it's not unexpected uh, with those claws. I really do uh, did expect that uh, when I saw the first pictures of this. And I'm just gonna swap the hands out again. I'm not really sure if the claws were meant to come out of these hands or not, um, but they do, so it kind of makes um, these alternate fists pointless, really. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, it's cool, I guess, they come with it, but yeah, I don't know. I just, I think I would rather, instead of these hands, him come with an unmasked head, uh, which there is a 3D print out there of uh, that head. I think it's kind of sold out now, but you could probably find it on eBay, which is probably twice as much as what the figure is worth, but it looks cool. Now, as far as articulation goes on the figure itself, um, he can look that far down. He can look that far up. So the head's got a really nice range of motion. Um, head spins back and forth. He's got an ab crunch that lets him look up that far. He can look really far down. I'm really digging that. He does have a twist at the waist and the belt is a separate piece of plastic, which I really do dig. His arms go up about that far. There is a twist up there. Um, he's got a butterfly joint like Spider-Man, which is really nice. Uh, he's got upper bicep uh, swivel. He has a double jointed elbow, nothing at the forearm. His wrist twists, and uh, they do have a hinge, which is very, very cool. Um, his legs go up, oh, about that far forward. They go about that far back. They go out that far. There is a twist at the upper thigh. He does have a double jointed knee, which is really, really nice. Um, there is a, surprisingly, there is a uh, swivel at the boot, which is hidden really well, uh, thanks to those things there. Um, he does have a joint at uh, the uh, ankle, and he's got that crazy ankle pivot that we all love! With this being his widest possible stance, with both feet still flat on the floor. Not bad for a short guy. So taking a closer look at Wolverine here, the head sculpt on this is amazeballs. Uh, I mean, it captures that comic book look, and that's super important for a comic book line. Uh, when I think Wolverine, this is the Wolverine I'm thinking of. Um, I like how the mask goes back and it folds back there. That looks really nice. Um, the color pattern's right, uh, the yellow and the brown. I remember this a lot as a kid growing up reading X-Men comics. Um, I think I'm a little more partial to the yellow and blue suit than I am the brown suit, but this looks really, really cool. I also like the black and uh, gray one, too. I, I, I think we'll probably get repaints of all those. I would have liked uh, some 5 o'clock stubble on the jaw. I think that would have looked cool, but you know, we see him like this a lot, so I mean, I guess I could customize it, or we could get a paint variant out of it. Who knows? So taking a look at the midsection of the figure, again, the claws kind of bother me in the fact they're not 100% straight. Again, you can use some heat to kind of straighten those out, maybe super glue them in, but you're going to lose the ability to pull those claws out. But again, I don't know if that's supposed to happen or not. So you may lose them or you may make it so loose that they just don't go back in anymore. Uh, so be wary of that. Uh, the paint apps 
Pretty decent, pretty clean. I like the belt, the red belt. I like how it's a separate piece that sits on the waist. Uh, that is really nice and it doesn't hamper any kind of articulation. The butterfly joints and the shoulders, definitely a fan of that. I am digging it. I just wish the claws were more metallic. But again, that San Diego Comic-Con uh, has that. You can swap those out if you wanted to, I guess. I don't know. But uh, uh, you could also just paint them silver. Just get some model paint and paint them silver, I don't think. That would be too difficult at all, and it will look pretty cool. I will probably go ahead and do that on my figure at some point. If I do, I'll definitely show it off on the channel. But really, really digging the figure overall. I think they did a good job, and, uh, um, you know, they nailed it. They absolutely nailed it. So taking a look at the legs of the figure, and Wolverine's boots have always been kind of interesting to me. I like how they kind of match his mask, and they did a good job with this figure for sure. Uh, the black and the brown look nice, and I like how it's got a boot twist at the top, and that kind of flare out at the top really masks where that joint is. And, uh, you know, that's always a plus when the toy designer can do that and get the articulation in and you don't see the joint. So kudos for the guy that worked on Wolverine's boots. For comparison, here we have Wolverine next to the pizza-eating Spider-Man and the Walgreens uh, first appearance Daredevil. And as you can see, he's a short guy, and I like that because he's short in the comics. So very, very cool to see the proper height. I am digging that. So is the Wolverine a figure that you want your Marvel Legends collection? Yes, absolutely yes. This is a great figure. This is the Wolverine figure I wanted. I didn't even know I want. I do have a Marvel Legends Wolverine figure from uh, earlier on, but I have not opened it up yet. I'll have to do a Versus video at some point. But this is definitely a cool figure, despite the issues I have with the claws. That's, you know, relatively easily fixed. Relatively easily uh, fixed with, uh, you know, a hairdryer. But, uh, you know, it's just disappointing that those come out like that. And, uh... Not unexpected, really, but overall, I am digging him. I think he looks good. I think it looks like the comic book version. I fully expect at least a couple different repaints out of this. I expect a black and a silver version, an unmasked version, and probably the blue and yellow version uh, to come out with, uh, you know, paint jobs to come out in this mold for sure. So there he is, Wolverine from Marvel Legends. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you like this video, thumbs it up. If you hate this video, thumbs it down. To watch more Ultra Maximus, click on the links to the right. Don't forget to subscribe and share, like us on Facebook, and look for more videos in the future.